It is uh, coming up on 617. A picture perfect summer day, Betsy Clay. Oh, thank you. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice and cool. Everybody was just kind of mm -hmm. chilling yeah. today. We're about mm -hmm. 10 degrees below average. I don't think anybody's complaining too much. Uh -uh. Nope. We're going to turn the heat up a little bit <laughs> for those of you who like it hot, but it's going to take a little time to do that. As far as the next few hours go, well, we're going to see the temperatures slide back into the 60s. We made it down to 55 this morning at Hopkins. We're going to be in the 50s again tomorrow morning throughout much of the area. A few clouds will be passing through. It is just plain old comfortable, everybody. Now, the one key thing to look at here is what's out over the lake. You see how all the little lines, those are wind lines, stream lines they're called, are emanating from a single point or a single area. That's a sign that we have high pressure that is in control. High pressure has a settling effect on the atmosphere. The air descends and spreads, and that is what you're seeing. The air descending and spreading, and so we get a nice uh, northerly breeze off the lake that's keeping the lakeshore areas a little cooler. We're at 72 on the east side, 78 in tropical Dover, but all of us are enjoying the low humidity. It is very comfortable around the area. We will, as I mentioned, start to turn the humidity Humidity up though over the next couple of days. Big spike even as we head into the weekend. When the humidity returns, so do the shower and thunderstorm chances. Let's get into the details on this. We are already seeing some high thin clouds off to the north start to move our way. So if we expand the picture a little bit, you'll see those are coming from, from very scattered showers that are sitting up here along uh, the northern portion of the Great Lakes. The even wider picture, we continue to show you this because we really don't have a lot going on locally and we're depending on storm systems that are out to the west to begin to move in. But once again, you know, if you joined us last night, we talked about trajectory, how the upper air is starting to move things around. And if you take the even wider picture, uh, you start to see that there's definitely a lot more action in the clouds farther north into Canada. Well, that is where a lot of storm systems are sitting right now. And the trajectory of the jet stream will start to drag these storm systems a little closer to us. So that's going to help to bring back our rain and thunder chances. Your national design, our hour by hour forecast keeps us dry tonight. Some high clouds fi uh, filtering through, filling in moving through, whichever way you want to say it, 50s to around 60 to start the day tomorrow. Then we start to get into some of those just very randomly scattered showers that were happening in the northern Great Lakes. So that's the first wave that's coming at us. It doesn't look like a washout by any means. We'll just have some scattered showers. Temps tomorrow, eh, 80 or so. And then we'll have better chances for some showers coming back at us as we head through Saturday mm -hmm. evening and then on Sunday too. Here's your Union Home Mortgage forecast. 80 with those isolated, very random rain shower chances tomorrow, but the storm chances pick up late Saturday into Sunday. We'll dry out again on Monday. Then another one of those storm systems comes back our way once we get into the middle to the end of next week. So we're not necessarily tracking things locally, but boy, we have to keep an eye on what's going on 3,000 miles away. Wow. All right, Betsy, thank you.